assalamu alaikum students sometimes in your classroom you see something like this is written on your board and you are confused that what is actually going on there because you do not understand this but you keep thinking how can i visualize this if i can visualize what is written on the board so i can fun learning this so in this video we are going to learn how you can convert algebra in something you can do and you can visualize for visualizing algebraic expression you use algebra tiles which are something like this algebra tiles are very useful for better understanding of algebraic concepts so let's see what does it mean starting with the very first uh, algebra algebra tile which is a square tile this is a square tile which all sides equals x so when you multiply x times x to find its area so which is x squared so this is known as x squared tiles whenever you have any x squared term in your expression you use this tile next you have <coughs> this bar which is a, a length of one set unit and the width of x units. So when you multiply both the sides, you get x times one equals x. So this is the tile with area x. So use this tile whenever you have x in your expression or equation. Last, you have this smallest square and all of its sides are one unit. So when you multiply one times one, so you get its area equals one unit squared <clears throat> so whenever you have a constant term in your polynomial or expression you use this tile so far we have discussed all uh, these three tiles of algebra tiles and now we will show you how you can use them to model polynomials so we are taking the same polynomial we started the video with and we are going to model this using these algebra tiles in this polynomial you can start with the first term which is 2x squared and you can see this is the x squared term so you have to use this x squared tile to represent or visualize this term so you here you have 2x squared so you will take this square a total of two times because here you have two along with x squared which means you need to take x squared a total of two times next you have plus 3x and you we have already shared with you that this is the tile of x so whenever you have x term in your polynomial so you will use this tile to represent that so you will take this tile a total of three times because you need to take 3x last in the polynomial you have plus one <clears throat> so you will take this one styles only one time so this is how you simply model any algebraic polynomials and once you model you can visualize what is actually going on and you can play and manipulate for different algebraic concepts. So like this when you, if you have uh, modeled it you can rearrange to make another rectangle and you can find its factors you can find its product and you can see so many things what you do in algebra but this time by using algebraic tile you can even visualize what is happening. But before we move on to some operations of algebraic expressions let's see you have understood how they are modeled. So let me give you a question. I am giving you three models like this and you are supposed to pick the one which shows this polynomial. You have easily pointed out that this middle model is the right uh, modeling of this polynomial because in this polynomial you have 3x squared like this, 1x in between and 6 1 styles. So this is how we simply convert an abstract concept of algebra to something which we can see and we can do, we can touch in our hands. So this is all about algebra tiles. Now let's use algebra tile and do some operations with them. This is the first polynomial which we have already modeled and taking another polynomial and we can easily model it the same way we have done previous. So it is x squared so we have taken one x squared tile. We need 3x so we have taken 3x tiles and we need plus 3 so we have taken 3 1 tiles. So we have both the models now we are supposed to add them. 
you know better that addition mean we are combining both the polynomials hence we are combining both the models so you need to combine both of these models for combining them I am rearranging them something like this I have rearranged both the all the pieces of all the tiles of both the polynomials in, in a way that I have all the squared tiles together all the x tiles together and all the ones tiles together now after just visualizing this I do not need to calculate anything I can just visualize and give the answer and what is the right answer the simple I have 4 x squared 4 x and 9 ones so I can write 4 x squared plus 4 x plus 9 so you see by doing algebra by using algebra tile you do not need to do any further calculation you can just visualize and you can give the right answer of different operations on polynomials so this is uh, addition of polynomials but before moving forward i would like to introduce something which is very important by the time you are using algebra tiles so far you have used these three tiles x squared x and one but you know sometimes you have a negative terms as well to deal them we use the same size tiles but in red color so whenever you have a negative term you use the same tile but in red color and whenever you have a positive term so you will use the green color so you can easily visualize that which term was uh, uh, negative and which term was positive so let's use this concept of red color for negative term and let me give you a polynomial and just identify which is the right modeling of this polynomial. <clears throat> okay, this was the right answer and I am 100% sure that you must have easily identified that. Just what is the difference? You can see that we need 3x squared. So we have used an x squared tile a total of 3 times. Then we need x but in negative x so we have taken x but in red color. Similarly we need 6 but in negative sign so we have taken 6 ones but in red color which are representing that the 6 was a negative term. So just for the negative term we have used red color and for the positive term we have used green colors. So this is the further addition to modeling hope you have understood this. Now, just lose uh, the same uh, polynomial we have uh, drawn with negative sign and let's add it with another polynomial something like this. We have just modeled this polynomial as well the same way we did this. And you can see that the x squared was the negative term so we have used one x squared in red color. The remaining term was positive so they are in green color. Now again you need to sub, sorry, add them so you have to combine both the models. So for combining both the models I am rearranging and writing something like this. You know what have we have done? We have gathered all the squared terms, all the x terms and all the ones terms together. Here is a very important topic that you need to know when you are dealing with algebra tiles. Whenever you have a positive and negative tile like green and red tile of same size together so that is known as zero pair because they cancel each other and their value is nothing or zero. So whenever you have a same tiles of different color in your model you pair them up and you just vanish them or remove them from your modeling. Like again you have a same pair right here so I will remove this same size tiles but in different colors so removing this as well and here we have another zero pair so I am removing this pair as well. So now we have removed all the zero pairs and now we are left with these tiles and by visualizing these tiles you can easily answer the addition of these two polynomials which is 2x squared 2x and negative 4 which you can easily visualize that you have positive 2x squared because you have left with a red uh, green tiles so this is positive 2x then you have positive 2x because you have again green tiles for x and you have negative 4 because you are left with a red tiles in ones so this is how you can interpret and you can rewrite your answer now in the last of this video I am going to also discuss one question for subtraction 
using the same polynomial so that we can uh, we which we have already modeled so we can easily understand them but this time i am doing subtraction for doing subtraction using algebra tile we are using a simple technique of additive inverse that means subtracting something is same as adding its opposite if you want to subtract something it is exactly same if you are adding its opposite this concept is used in integers you must have used it there the same concept we are using for algebra time and for polynomials what does opposite mean i would like to discuss what does opposite mean let's see what is opposite for example we need to subtract this polynomial from this starting polynomial so first we will model this polynomial as it is like this we have 3x squared we have negative x we have negative 6 tiles right so we have just model it something like this since we need to subtract it we have to find its opposite and opposite means like you have a green uh, uh, square tiles you will convert them to red color so if you have changed their color to red so they you have finding its opposite the same way you have changed the color green color to red the red tiles should be changed to green so now this model is the opposite model of this model which was of this polynomial so we have just found the model first then found then found its opposite now we can remove the original one and we have a positive right here and we will not find the opposite of it because we are subtracting this polynomial so we have just found its opposite and now we can add this because we have already written subtracting something is the same as adding its opposite so now again as we have already adding uh, fr from the start of the video so just rearrange all the tiles you have right like this all the square tiles together all the x tiles together and all the one tiles together now looking at these tiles you can easily write your answer which is negative 4 squared plus 4x plus 8 why we have got negative 4 squared because we had you can see that we are left with a red tiles so red represent negative term so which tiles are red so we will represent them with a negative and which tiles are green so we represent those terms with uh, positive signs so this is if you have a, any positive and negative term which is known as zero pair so you first cancel that out so this is all about addition and subtraction by algebra tiles in the next video we are going to discuss the multiplication of it thank you so much